everybody, Dr. Rodriguez here, Rodriguez Rejuvenation here again. Today we're doing a fat transfer for natural breast augmentation with no implants. Now, people always ask me, well, what, how is that different from regular liposuction? Well, with regular liposuction, the whole point is to get rid of the fat to throw it away. With this, we need to handle the fat differently, a more delicate way, so that the fat cells are healthy and happy and viable when we put it someplace else. To that end, I've broken down the fat in this area. Uh, we often use the laser or the vaser to break down the fat. So now, instead of coming out in chunks, it comes out in little, like a smoothie, kind of liquidy. Now, how can you remove liquidy fat? Well, we do it with an instrument like this one. You can see this is very thin. Compare it with my finger. It's only three millimeters, less than a quarter of an inch but it has little openings here that suck in the fat. Notice the instruments that I use, the openings are here on the bottom. So when I'm working like this, there's no holes sucking on the skin up above it. That helps to protect the skin so that the skin doesn't traumatize as much. There's little different things in technique, smaller openings, removing the fat gently. I've turned down the suction to a lower setting because I don't want to just suck out the fat violently, I want to suck out the fat gently um, when I start this process. You notice this is the device that I use. It's called the Micro Air. It vibrates back and forth like a little jackhammer so fast you can't even see it. And what that does, it gently shakes the little fat cells right into the little holes that I've showed you. Okay, that's a kind of gentler way than what you may have seen in the videos where they're doing it this way, okay? Let me show you. Just by putting it in gently, being very gentle, moving back and forth very easily. And now you start seeing the fat coming out almost in liquid form. It's a little salmon color, but you can see that it's liquidy, there's no chunk, and the little fat cells are all suspended in the anesthetic fluid, ready to be injected back into the breast. Once again, that's a little different from what you see with regular liposuction. It takes a little bit longer because I'm working with instruments that are much uh, smaller, more delicate, so it takes a longer period of time, but it's nicer for the patient. This is not very traumatic for the patient. So once again, this is fat harvesting for fat transfer for natural breast augmentation.